Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark here on our cluster series and I'm flying upside down and thinking about Megatheriums because we were supposed to tame them in the last episode and I figured, you know what, we might as well go ahead and hunt some here today. So I found a 162. Oh, we kind of clipped off of the cliff there a little bit. We found a 162 Megatherium right down here somewhere. Where did he go? He was here a second ago. Where did he go actually? I don't even see him. Did he run off? Where, oh no, where did he go? Megatherium, where'd you go, buddy? He ran off somewhere. Where the hell did he go? He was literally like right here. I have no clue. Is that him? Okay, that's him right there. Okay, sweet. So yeah, in the last episode, we were planning on taming Megatheriums, but then uh, we kind of got a little bit distracted by a Giga that was level 162. And by pure coincidence, this Megatherium was also level 162. Oh my Jesus, help. Ah! Get away from me. You leave me alone, stupid terror bird. You get off of me. I don't like that. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and chuck out our wyvern here and pick up our snow owl because we want to go ahead and tame up this megatherium. And I do believe that the wyvern can pick up. Um, yeah, okay, I'll leave that. Oh, I still haven't even changed the spelling of this. <laughs> oh man. All right. Uh, I do believe that wyverns can pick up the, um, the megatheriums. So let's go ahead and fix the spelling of that. I'm just kidding. How many people were just like spamming the comments like, you spelled it wrong again. No, I'm just kidding. There we go. Uh, so let me go ahead and see if this works. So you have a lot of levels from being in that cryopod for like 20 days. So I don't even know what I want to pump. Let's just go with pure damage and see what we get. Kill this bear. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Insert a Phil Swift meme right here. Okay. And let's pick you up. Oh yeah, we can pick him up. Sweet. So I want to drop this thing back into our taming pen. Does he have a vent? Okay, I thought he had like yellow hands for a second. Um, I want to drop this fella back into our taming pen and get him all tamed up. He's going to take some superior kibble. I do believe it's like eight or nine that he's going to take with my rates. Um, and then, yeah, I want to just search and search and search for more high level Megatherians because eventually I do want to build a broodmother uh, killing Megatherium army. Uh, so that's gonna have to be a project that we're gonna have to do at some point soon. But, uh, I also do want to, like, try to rush the Gamma Broodmother at some point soon as well. So even if I just have a few Megatheriums, like, they don't have to be, like, bred up and, like, mutated and all this crap, I could probably kill a Gamma Broodmother with, like, 10 Megatheriums, I'd say. So I should probably go ahead and actually get that sorted at some point so we can get that Tech Replicator unlocked. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna fly this fella back like way 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 back over here to my taming pen and then we're gonna get him knocked out and all tamed up and everything and then of course i i think anything like over level 156 maybe i'll tame 156 and above up to 180 i'll tame anything around those levels because anything around those levels is bound to have some decent stats in it so i want to combine all those obviously for the army eventually and uh yeah it's gonna be absolutely fantastic but guys make sure that you hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one we're actually finally taming these megatheriums that was so derpy in the last episode we just found that gig and i was like oh well i gotta go for this i can't just leave it somebody else might get it so i'm greedy um but yeah i'm gonna fly this fella back and then we're gonna search for some more fall asleep fall asleep <laughs> somebody darts there we go finally all right that is the 162 knocked out. Pretty good stats, actually. Not too bad. Where's my kibble? There it is. So I think it took around that amount, maybe. Do I still have? Yeah, I do. Sweet. All right, so yeah, we're just going to wait for this thing to wake up then. I actually figured I might show off the stats instead of just like trying to find a new one uh, without showing it off at all. So I will actually bring you guys back once this thing is up. All right, so any second now, and it should wake up. It actually drains in food pretty quick, which is nice. It doesn't, it doesn't really take too long to actually tame up a Megatherium, which is quite nice. I like that. The only pain is actually getting them into these little pens, because it took me like three or four drops to actually drop them into the pen. So either I suck at this, or they're hard to get into pens. <laughs> All right, so it's probably that I suck at it, though, to be honest. Let's see. So that's, uh, I mean, that health seems pretty good. Uh, the melee doesn't seem too bad either, actually. And stamina is quite good on these guys in general, I do believe. So yeah, not a bad Megatherium. Let's bring you out here. And uh, we got to look for some more. So you know what? Do I even want to bring it all the way over there? I think I might just sit him down over here. So 
It's really cool. I love this. This is like something that I want on every creature. You can get them to just sit down. And I do believe you can do that on the chalet as well. But that's such a nice little feature. I don't know why. I just really enjoy that you can just get them to sit down like that. And I feel like that's something that should be on way more creatures than just these guys. Like, I feel like you should be able to get Equuses to just lay down in like a field or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm just asking too much of the Arc Devs, but like stuff like that, just it's manageable. <laughs> it would just make it so much better. I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's something I'd really like and I've wanted for such a long time. Just in general, I think it would be amazing if you could just do that. Uh, but yeah, let's let's get back to it. So we want to look in the Redwoods again. They don't seem to be insanely common in the Redwoods. That's the only thing. I only found just a few of them. So I might actually head over to the snow areas because you can find them there too. And it might be a little bit easier to spot them in the snow. So uh, yeah, we might have to head on over here. The only thing is, is though, I... I actually, I don't have stuff on me to really be able to counteract the uh, the blistering cold. Or is it even blistering? Uh, what would you say? You wouldn't say blistering if it was cold, right? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. The really cold temperatures. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, I don't really have anything to counteract that besides the fact that uh, my guy can heal me, my snow owls, so that's nice, but... Yeah, just in general, I can't, I gotta watch my health and I gotta make sure that I'm not, like, gonna kill myself. <laughs> Let's see, so I actually, I don't see any megatheriums around here. We might have to search it a little bit, though. Um, there is that nice big open area over here, though, so I could go ahead and check that area. But, um, yeah, I could also take a look for some Uteranus while I'm here, too. Um, always, of course, on the look for those guys, because... Uteranuses are fantastic for just all boss fights, and if I am doing the Gamma Broodmother, just having a Uteranus with me would be kind of useful. Uh, not that I really need him, it would just kind of help out a little bit. Uh, let's see. What are you? Yeah, no Megatheriums here. Let's just quickly check over here, though, because we might be able to find some on camera, which is what I really like. Like, I would love to just put out, like, an hour and a half video where I'm just searching for tames and taming them up, but... Man, it's so boring. <laughs> like, I could not sit through that for like an hour and a half, which sometimes it can take that long to actually find some good level things. But um, I do enjoy trying to find some on camera whenever I can. And I'm not the type of guy who just records like for an hour and a half and then snips it up. I like to kind of structure my videos in a certain way. So that's why they're all done in like clip form and, clip form and I'm hardly like occasionally just cutting in little bits without actually kind of... I guess bringing you you guys back and I don't seem to be able to talk today. I don't know why. Oh man, I need to maybe drink some Red Bull or something like that. We'll see. Uh, yeah, I don't see any Megatheriums out here. So we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, yeah, there's none here. <laughs> okay, so I thought we might actually get ourselves a Kairuku. <laughs> a little Dermis thingy. And at some point I actually got to come over here and look for some good levels. I didn't see any good levels so far, but we can check over here. I wouldn't mind getting some uh, some Kairuku at some point, because they're kind of useful to have around, I suppose, but also I do want to get some mutations on them. I'm not sure if I've ever actually done mutations on, Ku on Kairuku, so that could be kind of fun. We'll see. But uh, another thing I really quickly wanted to actually check out was the ice cave. I want to just fly in there and try to actually see if there's any good drops. Uh, I do like coming in here. It's really nice because there can be some really awesome loot up here. Uh, we actually found ourselves the blueprint for our... There we go. Oh, it's we got a 162 over here. Sweet. All right, I'll get him on the way back. Uh, or her, or whatever. Um, but yeah, I found the blueprint for my rifles, my ascended uh, long neck rifles in this cave. So it's always worth just coming in here and try to grab as many drops as you can. There's usually like at least four, I do believe. Uh, we've got a blue one over there. Uh, let's grab, yeah, there's one down here. Let's grab this one first and try to lead some of those guys down here. Oh my God, that was a big bang from outside. Not sure what that was. Hopefully I'm not getting robbed. All right, we got some blueprints, nice. Uh, let's see, can we get this drop without these bears attacking me? It might be possible. Okay, come on, give me. All right, we're good. <laughs> we got a Hyenodon meat pack, so <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, we got a yellow drop over there, nice. Let's go ahead and grab this then. 
Is that a blue drop? Yeah, there's a blue drop over there. All of the drops here today. Hey, you can just fly straight in here. That drop kind of sucked. You can fly straight in here and just grab drops whenever you can. It's really awesome. This is located over here-ish. Um, so yeah, let me just grab this this one here. I think there's one more spot where we can find drops, but I'm not sure if I saw a glow coming from there. So we're going to have to just fly over and take a little look. Oh, you know what? I think there is a blue drop over there. Nice. That is awesome. Oh, there's a crap ton of bears on it, though. Hmm. All right. I guess we ain't, we're going to have to kill these guys. Usually they're like super high level. Yeah, this is a 204. You can't tame any of these bears, by the way. So let's just whack away at them and eventually they'll die. <laughs> Here we go. We killed that 48. There's a 144 and a 204 now. 144 is dead and 204 is going down. Sweet. Alrighty. Let me see. What do you got? Uh, okay. Lots of terror bird stuff here today. So let's head back out of here and we can grab that Megatherium now. Um, I do believe I got all the drops. And I also actually grabbed a dire bear, uh, what's it called? A dermis earlier. So now we actually can complete the, uh, the snow biome, uh, part of our museum. Because we got the Giga in the last episode, and then I was only missing the Dire Bear and the Penguins. So now we have it complete once we chuck these things in. So that's going to be really awesome. Uh, let me have a look for that Megatherium, though. There is a red drop over here. Let's go grab this, too. Um, I have been checking around this whole area, and I've actually... I found a Uteranus, but it's pretty low health, and it was 162. I do believe it was, like, over up the hill, maybe. I think, actually, that's it over there. Did it just die? No, the Mammoth died. All right. So let's, we, we can go back up there and maybe get him later if he's still alive. Uh, let's just look down here for more Megatherium while we're heading to this drop. Is that one? Nope, that's a trike. Yeah, I don't see any in here. Super hard to navigate through here with the heat vision on. Is that one over there? Nope. Terror bird. All right, whatever. Let's grab this drop before it breaks. All right, we got 40 health on it. Ah, okay, whatever. Not the most amazing stuff, but it's okay. So we did see that 162. I will go back and grab that, I suppose. Haven't found anything else yet. Lots of 162 so far. Alrighty. Okay, so I actually just found a 180. It's up there, but I'm going to grab this 162 before I do that. Go ahead and pick you up, and then we got to pick up the Megatherium. Uh, do you have anything good? No. All right, we're good. Sweet. So let me like right here somewhere right i don't see it what am i walking into okay it's the moose and that's dead uh so the megatherium somewhere in here i just don't see him was there a second ago these things just keep disappearing on me where did it go i honestly don't see it there it is oh my god you are the 162 right yeah so I'll show you where the 180 is. He's like, or I don't know what gender gender it is actually, but um, it's like right up here in the open and it's pretty safe. So I figured I might get this one just in case. Uh, is that it right there? I think that's, yeah, that's the level 18. It's uh, oh, now there's wolves. There wasn't wolves a minute ago. Where did it go? There it is. Yeah, so it's, it's up there. It might be safe. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and drop you and then I'm gonna go back and kill those wolves. So that's probably it right there. I'll check it in a minute. Let me just kill these things first. Ah! Get lightninged. Oh yeah, you're gonna go ahead and howl with the hell's your pack gone? I killed everybody. All right, so I don't know. I'll just grab one of these ones. Either way, I'm gonna be taming the two of them. Which one did I grab? 180, sweet. All right. So long flight back home to get this thing there, but uh. We can go ahead and fly back and grab the other one after. Um, I'm going to probably get the two of these things tamed up, and then I'll bring you guys back, and we can check out the stats and everything on them. This is a strange sight. <laughs> They're all just surrounding me. Uh, so we're back. Um, I actually screwed up on the second 162. Uh, I accidentally shot it after it went down. My bad. I was kind of looking at my phone. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, we also actually found a 174 right here. It's also a female. I do believe every single one of these is a female, but okay, no. I thought that we only had one male for a second there, but we have two males apparently. So, uh, yeah, let me actually get this one out of the pen first. 
and then we can check them all out so come here for a second there buddy but yeah this is the one i screwed up on eh, it's kind of annoying i hate when that happens you gotta wait for the thing to like wake up and then retrank it and uh it was such a pain and i had to waste a kibble just to be sure that i did mess up on it is it even gonna come out of there what is happening i don't like that all right you know what let's make this easier let's go and make some megatherium saddles because we're gonna need them anyway so we might as well go ahead and do it but uh yeah so i found the 174 um on the way back with the 162 the second 162 so uh that's pretty awesome let's go ahead and make up these saddles and then we can go down and check out all their stats so uh let me see mega megatherium there we go uh oh you know what i think i have do i have saddles oh wrong one this one no i could have sworn i have a blueprint though uh meg megatherium hey look at that we got a mastercraft one let's go ahead and craft one of those and then a bunch of primitive ones so meg megatherium let's craft like let's craft four in total and then i'll keep the mastercraft one on me and uh i think maybe what we'll do now is we'll sort out all the stats figure out what oh we got another wyvern attacking are you kidding me why are they always attacking oh i want one oh i don't want four but we have enough for four there we go oh my god it's the 228 freaking poison why is there so many like max level poison wyverns it's so weird because like i've had so many of them attack my base like and they're specifically poison and max level so i don't know what the hell's going on but i feel like the the arc gods are giving me a sign they want me to go ahead and get myself a uh a poison egg so maybe in the next episode we'll head down there i gotta sort out the rest of this crap i never actually put this stuff away um we got uh where is it again parasaur and then the meat pack and then these and what else goes in this can go in there uh we got armor armor's this one i think that's all my oh we got one more tools and i think that's all my blueprints sweet so let's get back down there and chuck this uh this saddle on this dude so we can get him out of the pen they're kind of derpy like it's kind of hard to get them out of the pen so this might be a lot easier to be honest with one of the megatherium i actually it was the 180 i actually just had to pick it up with the wyvern to get it out of there because it was just impossible so let's see um bam there you go let's get you out of here it's been a while since i've used a megatherium these guys are awesome though i really do like them um so let's just chuck saddles and all the rest and then we can take a look at their stats so all right so first of all let's look at health so this one actually seems like it probably has the most health so 76 96 yep best so far and um, yeah that one has the best health all right so i'm gonna name you uh i actually you can't name it one letter if you put one letter as the name it just doesn't work so you have to put at least two so um that one there's the health so 1920 Oh, 2440 that's the highest stamina so far 2240 yeah so what was this 2440 nice all right so 20 oh wait i just put stam i suppose help stam let's see so i'm looking for weight and melee and the rest of the stats i don't really care about health or not health food and oxygen um i don't know if megatheriums can actually take veggie cakes i think that they're they're like omnivores aren't they or something i don't know i think they can eat chitin but they can also eat meat i don't exactly know so i don't believe that they can take those so i'm not going to care too much about food let's just look at weight and melee so i think this is probably quite high so uh 10 44 uh so this one's the best weights or yeah weight so far best melee is on the first one. Oh, you know what 34 yeah this one's got the best weight so I think, yeah, this one has the best weight. Uh, weight. Uh, so you actually don't have the best of any of these stats. Though your weight's pretty good and your health is not the worst. And neither is your stam. But your melee's kind of trash. So you have the best melee then. Uh, ooh, what am I doing? Let's go ahead and name you H uh, plus M. 
All right, so that's kind of how you figure out all the best stats. It's as simple as that. It really is. Um, so yeah, we, we can actually get rid of this one now. I think this was the last one that we tamed. This was the second 162, so we're not going to need you anymore. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it. I know a lot of people might, you know, want to keep the creatures, but personally, I don't like keeping them unless I'm actually going to make use of them. I don't have anything, so I, I guess I'll leave it there for the moment. So these are the three that we're going to be working with right now. I think what I want to do is I want to look for a better uh, melee stat. So I definitely want to tame some more, but this will work for the moment. Let's go ahead and just get uh, some of these things breeding. I want to at least put the health and the melee onto the same creature. So maybe what we'll do for the rest of this video is we'll get a baby from the two of these. And then later on after the video, I can breed the stam into it as well and then i can also look for some more awesome megatheriums so let's see can i get you guys to sit down while you're breeding interesting does this work are they mating are they gonna mate i don't know if they're gonna i think that they have to be standing i'm not sure hmm okay well yeah uh they don't seem to be starting so i get i'll get them to stand up they're not following me either, right? Okay. You guys gonna start? Any second now? All right. Well, anyway, uh, we're gonna breathe them together. We're gonna get the uh, the stats all together, the health, uh, the melee, and the weight, and then I will bring you guys back once we have a baby with all three of those stats to imprint. All right. So we got it. We got our Megatherium. It has the health. It has the decent-ish stem, and it has the other two stats. So I will, of course, breed them together eventually, but uh, for now, that is good enough. Let me just stop these things from breeding. Where is it? Oh, it's in here. Okay, I keep forgetting. And bam, disable mating. So sweet. All right, let me take a little look. I know that you can actually make these babies sit down, which I think is pretty cute. Wait, it does work, doesn't it? It should work. He's on wander, though. That's probably affecting it. Let's see. Sit down. Ah. <laughs> That's awesome. So this little guy, I'm going to have to bring him all the way back up to the base. Um, is there anything I could bring him up with? I could probably... Oh, wait, no. You can't put things into a thylus mouth. I don't know why I thought that for a second. So I could probably just lead him up, and uh, I want to get him in range of a nanny so we can imprint this thing. And then we're going to go ahead, and when it's fully grown, we're going to bring it out and maybe just kill some stuff. I want to see how good they are against like spiders and different things like that. So I want to bring one down to the beach over there. But uh, yeah, that's going to take a little bit, so I'll see you guys then. Alright, so let's take this thing out and see what we can do. Um, Alrighty, let's go ahead and attack this guy first. Arrgh, attack! Now, do I get my buff? Oh, yeah, I do. Look at that. I'm going to do some insane damage. Look at that. That is crazy. I love the effect as well. It looks super awesome. Oh, man. <laughs> it's just like fire. All right, let's go up and kill these guys too. Ah, uh, Megatherium's so fun to use. Seriously, I love these things. Let's use the other attack because that one does even more damage. So let's see. Ah, oh my god, this thing's not even that OP. Like I haven't even leveled it. So once I pump a level in, all the stats are going to update from the imprint. Bam. So I feel like, you know what? Let's get this up to 15k and straight into melee with the rest of them. This thing's going to be a beast. So as you can see, I have the stat buff at the corner. Oh my god. <laughs> I have the stat buff at the corner, insect killer. So whenever you kill anything that pretty much gives chitin, I do believe. So like Arthros, uh, Mantis, um, Spiders, whatever else. Like there's tons of things. Stung Beetles as well, I do believe. Like all the things that give chitin uh, gets this thing hyped up. And it is absolutely amazing. How the hell did you survive that attack? Oh, it's a level 180 dung beetle. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. So what we could probably do is when we're heading into the Broodmother Arena, if we want, we can bring over like, I don't know. Could we get an egg of something that that hatches out and is like a chitin creature? I think. Can we breed any creatures that can actually give chitin? I don't think we can. There might be one creature on the list that you can breed. But if I bring something over, unclaim it, get all my megatherium to eat it, and then I can go ahead and just enter the Broodmother Arena with this buff. Not only do they do more damage, but they also take less damage as well. So that's why they're so fantastic for killing specifically the Broodmother. But apparently you're terrible at walking up tiny little hills, so that's fine. You can see there. Oh my god. <laughs> 
Oh, could you imagine like 20 of these fully like leveled into like health and uh, melee just going up against the broodmother? That thing would not even stand a chance. Or no, 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 no. 19 of them and a Uteranus. Yes, even better. That would be fantastic. Oh, this is so fun though. Let me, let me go kill the rest of these stupid mantis. I want to bring this thing to the desert now, actually, because we could probably just go there and kill all of the mantis and get all of the polymer. Not that we really need it, though, to be honest. Let's see. What, are, what else is over here? Oh, we got some stuff over here. Cool. We got some snakes, but luckily we can still do the insane damage to them, even though they're not uh, insects. So I don't think it's as I don't think it's uh, as much as the um, when you're attacking insect-like creatures, but you still do a I'll have a lot of damage either way. Let's just gamma up so you guys can see. Oh, it's so satisfying to kill Arthur's this quick, though. That is so, so satisfying. And it doesn't actually... I don't think you take the the blowback damage on the Arthros, do you? Because I do believe on any creature, if you do damage to an Arthro, because they have, like, acid blood, uh, I do believe that you actually take damage from the attacks. Same with, like, Kentros and stuff. But I don't think you actually get that with this guy. So he might be unique in that way. I don't see any more Arthros, but we can take a look. I mean, I gotta definitely actually check that because that would be really useful to know. Um, one thing that I really have to say that's super disappointing is that these things cannot fit fully into the swamp cave on the island. Like, you know the little swamp cave with the toxic gas in it that you can't really just go in wearing normal armor. You either have to go in wearing like a gas mask or like a combination of uh, ghillie and... Um, what is it again the scuba stuff so i don't believe that these guys can get far into that cave at all like you can get them in by just breeding them and walking a baby in but when you bring it further through the cave i do believe it gets stuck because i remember one time when these things came out i actually attempted uh i attempted like a video where i could go through there on the megatherium but it didn't really work out very well and i refused to ghost it through to actually make it happen so that wasn't a thing <laughs> let's see Oh my god. This is incredible. So the fact that you take less damage is fantastic as well. Let's see. So, oh, I do take damage. Okay. I do take damage from fighting Arthros. So they're not immune to it. I think that would be kind of cool if they were immune to it, though. But it's not a big deal. Like, they can hardly even hurt you at all because these things are just so beastly. They could take down an Arthro and he's, like, in, like, a split second you could take one down. And it's, it's just dead. It's not going to be there to spit at you or damage you even more. So it's okay taking a little bit of damage. Oh, hey, we got an Alpha Raptor. Interesting. I would love to try to kill this, but I do believe it might... Oh, wait, no, they can't pounce you. Never mind. All right, let's kill it. I want to kill this thing. Give me your levels. I want all of your levels. Oh, you do, like, no damage to me. Because of my saddle and my other thing, my um, imprint buff, this thing hardly could hurt me at all. Let me see. What do we get? We got this and nothing else it seems we got a whip not really that useful sweet so we probably got a few levels from that let's go directly into melee we don't need any more health at this point not on this one. Oh man super cool let's uh let's go kill some more stuff so that buff lasting two minutes as well just means that these guys are op like realistically now with the cryopods you could just bring things around with you you could just bring like a scorpion unclaim it uh like put it in a cryopod and then chuck it out, unclaim it, and then kill it with your megatheriums, and then just, like, attack somebody's base. You know, you'd have two-minute window to do a huge amount of damage. I don't know if they're good as, like, turret soakers, to be honest, because when you walk like that, you probably will just get hit by the turrets anyway. But, um, I don't know. Just in general, they're super awesome creatures. Nice and fun to use as well. Uh, so in terms of attacks, we have this. That's left click. We have right click, which is kind of like a bump. Or like a bite, maybe. Uh, C does nothing. Okay, I thought I thought these guys could roar, but apparently they can't. I always thought that they could. I don't know why. So, yeah. I mean, still pretty cool, though. Go ahead and kill you. It'd be cool if, like, one of those buttons made him sit down and that was some sort of buff or something. I don't know. Let's see. And you're dead. And you're dead. Nothing stands a chance. Ooh. Oh, we took a little bit of damage from that. Damn. All right. <laughs> oh, man. The Megatherium. Super awesome creature. I'm I'm really excited to do the Broodmother boss with this with this uh, 
little army that we're gonna have going uh do of course need to tame more megatheriums like 360 that comes with uh that creature that i have back there the staff from him it's still pretty good but i do think that we could probably do a little bit better on that melee because like around 400 on most creatures is like considered high so if we could get around there on the melee i think that would be even better and uh fully imprinted like even just like mutated as well these guys would ruin an alpha brood mother be insane how much kind did we get from this little trip because i guarantee we have tons and look at that over ten thousand. we got like eleven thousand four hundred ish that is incredible so anyway that is the megatherium i love this creature i love the buff on it it is so awesome even just looks amazing it looks like fire so cool um but yeah we need some uh we need some names for like our main megatherium because i do want to make an army but i want one that i could just use whenever so leave some awesome names for uh megatheriums down below uh we will of course be doing mutations and everything eventually so we're probably gonna either use that name or pick a new one but um yeah i definitely want like my own megatherium <laughs> Alrighty. well anyway that's it for today i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and hit the like button if you want to see more like this you can of course subscribe we'll see you in the next one see let's just let's just do this <laughs>